Good day viewers and welcome to the Polymer Update Daily News Show. This is Sirman Chaudhary from the Polymer Update Mumbai office. Today's special news reel is sponsored by Mumbai-based Met Asia Private Limited, an entrepreneurial metal scrap trading and indenting company for ferrous and non-ferrous metals. The company has successfully developed a global network of dependable suppliers with an unparalleled track record of reliability, authenticity, market know-how and financial capabilities. Let's start with energy news. Crude futures declined on Thursday. WTI traded at $72.94, a fall of $1.20 per barrel. Brent finished at $77.39, down $0.85 cents per barrel. Prices slipped as Energy Information Administration on Thursday unexpectedly reported a build of 1.25 million barrels in commercial crude inventories in the US for the week ended June 29th. According to Vandana Hari of Vanda Insights, crude futures were headed down a slippery slope early Friday in Asia along with the major stock markets in the region, as the US and China prepared to levy their first round of tit-for-tat import tariffs. President Donald Trump on Thursday confirmed the US will start collecting 25% import tariffs on Chinese goods worth $34 billion annually starting 12.01 a.m. Washington time on July 6th. China has said it will do the same on U.S. imports immediately after the U.S. tariffs take effect. To read her daily analysis of the crude markets, contact us on info at polymerupdate.com. Open spec NAFTA prices meanwhile edged higher on Thursday and were assessed at the 671 U.S. dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels, a day-on-day -day rise of 1 U.S. dollar per metric ton. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today on July 6, 2018. LLTPE prices are lower by 5 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 9,160 RMB per metric ton. PP rates are down by 21 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 9,103 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are lower by 20 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 6,810 RMB per metric ton. In plan news, Fund Energy has restarted its 440,000 metric ton per year PP plant located at Ningbo in Zhejiang, China on July 4, 2018. The plant was shut for a maintenance turn around in early June 2018. Mitsubishi Chemical has restarted its cracker early this week. The cracker remained under maintenance for a period of around two months. Located at Kashima in Japan, the cracker has an ethylene production capacity of 540,000 metric ton per year and a propylene capacity of 260,000 metric ton per year. Polymer Update has come up with monthly automobile industry insights for India as a value addition for its customers. The monthly report prepared by our in-house experts provides a 360-degree overview of the local automobile industry, including regulatory issues, technological development, key international issues and latest trends affecting the industry. Visit polymerupdate.com to download the detailed report. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video on Monday to know more. It's Friday, July 6th. This is Simran Chaudhary. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash polymerupdate and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at polymerupdate. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.